Welcome to the Garden Court of the United States Botanic Garden Conservatory. I'm Deputy Executive Director Dr. Susan Pell, and today I'm going to talk to you about morphology of poinsettias. Poinsettias are native to Mexico, and these are actually woody plants. They're shrubs, in fact, that can grow about uh, 10 to 15 feet in height, but we, of course, grow them mostly as annual plants to put on display during the holiday season. And you can see there's tons of different varieties here. In fact, there are well over 100 different cultivars of poinsettias. If we take a closer look at these, we can see these beautiful uh, white or red or yellow uh, leaf-like structures. Uh, many people think of these as the petals of the flower, but in fact, these are bracts or basically leaf-like structures that are associated with the inflorescence or the cluster of flowers. And if we zoom in here, we can see some of those flowers. In fact, the genus Euphorbia, of which Poinsettia is a member, has a very specialized inflorescence called a cyathea. And these cyathea have both male and female flowers. And here we can see the male flowers, these sort of little spiky things with the kind of yellow fringe on top. And then those large glands as well, those nectar glands, these big yellow kind of smiley face looking things. It looks like two lips there. You can see the male flowers in this one. And if we come over to a different poinsettia, we can see some of the female flowers. So this one, the male flowers are done, they've passed, and now we can see these female flowers. Here's one here emerging from the cyathium. You can also see that those nectar glands are excreting a little bit of nectar, the hopeful attraction of a pollinator. A common misconception about poinsettias is that they are toxic to humans. This is actually not true, and they're quite safe to have in your home. You may want to keep them away from puppies and kittens because animals who eat the leaves or bracts of poinsettias may develop some stomach problems. They'll probably just throw up the leaves and then be fine and not eat them again. As I said, over a hundred different cultivars have been developed throughout the years, um, and these are developed through uh, traditional breeding and also through irradiation and other techniques to select uh, mutations that form from these wonderful plants that in nature uh, have pink to red bracts. But we've developed many different combinations of pink and red as well as white and many different uh, oranges and yellows. Thanks for joining me today and I look forward to our future botanical adventures.